hey you guys welcome back to another one of my youtube videos and today's video is all about putting the proper castor oil in your hair and how to put oil in your hair properly where you're actually is gonna work you know you're gonna see a difference in your hair don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when i have more videos Follow me on Instagram at Shibli Hair Journey and my jewelry line is Shibli.com. So this is handcrafted, 100% pure castor oil, y'all. I got it on Amazon. They gave this such high ratings, like, you know, so excited to use it. I've used it only for a couple days now. Can't complain. The price is right. Um, it's just get it cold press so you always want to look for it to say like cold press all natural you know it's, it's good to get it like a hundred percent a hundred percent pure natural castor oil you know so this is the real deal it's not tested on animals a hundred percent natural another stamp of it it's really hard to come across very healthy cold press castor oil and you want to make for sure you putting the best products of oil in your hair if you are. It's a lot of imitation oils out there, so you want to make for sure you're using a real oil. That's, it's a life changer when you have the right oils in your hair and you apply it in your hair the right way. Ding, ding, ding. I said the right way. That's right, ladies. The right way. So I damp my hair with water before I apply the castor oil on my scalp and then I start applying the castor oil on my hand to give it a massage and stimulate the blood flow and it feels amazing. Castor oil works great on my hair because it has antiviral and antibacterial and antifungal properties that makes it very effective treatment for your scalp. So look who I have with me that woke up from her nap that needs her hair done is Shadaya. Say hi. Say hi everybody. Hi. 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 Yeah. So when you apply the castor oil, make sure your hair is wet or at least damp a little bit because um, it opens up your follicles and your individual strings of your hair. And then when you apply the oil on there, it closes and seals it. All the moisture and nutrients of your hair, it closes it. And it defines the curls and the frizz. And it smooths the actual hair. I'll put a picture right there. So you see, like, it closes it all down. So you first you have to have it open, and then you put the castor oil or some kind of oil on it, and then it seals and closes the moisture in the actual hair. And that would help uh, make your hair more shiny, soft, um, bring the elasticity to your hair. That means it stretches a little bit, so it won't just break from a tight pulling. And it actually would help hair growth because but sorry so that's healthy hair growth but healthy shedding is from the scalp from the when the bulb comes out now um, if you're getting shedding like small little pieces your hair has been burned fried or processed with you know I don't know whatever you put in your hair you, you might have to do a big chop or a really strong deep conditioner but this is I'm talking about for the ladies that just have dry hair but not like completely heat damage or was to the point where it is breaking off this is just to rejuvenate and get your you know hair back intact so I just usually just oh and it comes with a little pump too so I really like that so I just apply a little bit on So it's about like that much and my hair is still damp so I make sure it's damp and I just kind of like just finger it through but I put a good amount in there because I know my hair just eats it right up and make sure you really get the tips 
and you see the big difference but I really don't put it on dry hair because there's no purpose on putting on dry hair because it your hair uh, follicles are closed so you want to make sure you're putting on there where the hair follicles are open so it can take in the moisture and lock it and close it in right and you need a lot we need to wash that hair we need to do a lot to this she has shrinkage but her hair is really growing a lot i've been seeing a lot of growth here's some other castor oils that work amazing on my hair There's two other brands that are organic and shea butter is really great uh butter for the hair or a castor oil if you have hair similar to mine or even more drier than my hair it's going to work and you're going to thank me sis this mess works it's no joke like it does so much better with just a little bit of oil on it and I just throughout the day I just get the little bit of castor oil damp my hair and just apply it on there so please please subscribe to my channel smash that subscribe button y'all please and give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned to some more of my videos